the first time you walk in, there aren't words for what you see, that devastation. Um, and when things are as tall as you or taller, and it's just, things have been just lifted up and just thrown down. We had to fight our way through the door. Everything was just jammed over here. Then you go back outside and people would be walking around just in this daze and just going, I don't know what to do. The water in here was over five foot tall and it took all this kind of equipment and made it kind of do like a big uh, whirlpool. When we arrived the day after the storm, the water in there was up to the very top and it was still warm, probably steaming at about 1200 degrees. To rebuild this one piece of equipment, it's going to be over $25,000. The water came up to that shelf right there above that shelf because everything on that shelf is wet. And so that still has to be cleaned off. Don't trip, be very careful. There's wires and cords everywhere. This is a coal chop. All these wheels, these are how we grind glass and cut it, things like that. And that's a really good one because I had all the plant materials, so the dirt floated up and it gives you quite the water line. I don't have words for how wonderful the help has been. There is so much stuff. I mean, I'm sure when you go on the streets, you see all the stuff that just keeps, it just keeps coming out more and more. And we've had volunteers with bags and flashlights and coffee and you name it, we've had it. And they fed us. They brought food the first few days when we just didn't have anything. We were just working in the dark down here. A disaster is like having death happen to you. And hopefully life is going to come back from that death. And it will recover, but it's going to be quite a long road to do that.